Hi, you guys. Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So it is New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, everyone. I hope 2019 is going to be awesome for you guys. Um, and there's no better way to start off the new year than with a brand new planner. Um, I convinced a lot of you guys to go out and get these um, happy planners a couple months ago. And so to kick off sort of like our sewing planning merger of two loves of mine, I thought I would do a kickoff video showing you some of the things that you will need to buy in order to do what is called glam planning, which is whenever you decorate your planner using stickers um, to kind of help you organize and plan and it comes like a craft in and of itself. So, when it comes to the stickers and the decor, there are a couple ways you can go about doing it. Um, if you've got a happy planner, then you can go to any craft store, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and get these sticker books. Um, these are great because they are designed just for the happy planner. So all of the stickers fit, you know, in the boxes equally and evenly, which is nice. Um, if you are using the mini planner, you need a mini book. If you're using a regular planner, then you can use the regular book. And there are a lot more regular books than there are mini books, just FYI. Another route is you can just go to places like Target. I found these in the dollar spot. Um, they're not exceptional, nor can I guarantee that they're going to fit into whatever planner it is that you're using? Um, but they are something that would work um, in a pinch. Um, I did, I mean, after all, I bought them. So I thought I would be able to use them somehow. Um, another option is, okay, let me preface this by saying that this is a very slippery slope of awesomeness. What you're about to see is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's exciting. It is expensive. This is the most expensive way to plan that I've ever seen. Um, there are women usually, I think almost exclusively, who design sticker kits and sell them on Etsy. These kits that I have here were specifically made for the Erin Condren Life Planner because that's what I used to use until this year. I have a whole bunch left over, so I'm going to try and reuse them in the Happy Planner. The boxes in the Erin Condren are the same width. They're just not the same length. Um, but you get a whole pre-designed kit um, that kind of matches itself. And so you end up with a whole like coordinated spread, a whole week where everything just matches so perfectly <laughs> and it's really nice. Um, but like I said, these are expensive. I want to say one week's worth, like this is a mini kit. Um, so it only has four full pages. There are other kits that have, I think like six or seven pages. Um, but I want to say the mini kits are like $17 a piece and they go up to, I think $27 maybe. And then you can buy extras like the little sheet of, um, glitter washi tape. Um, you can buy a lot of different extra things, um, to, fill out your week and make it as decorated as you want. Um, but yeah, so $17 a week is quite an investment. I mean, considering you can get this whole book for weeks and weeks and weeks worth of stickers. Um, and this is really only intended for one week. I mean, there's only so many, so many of each kind of box, you know what I mean? So many to do lists. So you can only spread it out so much you might be able to get two weeks out of it depending on you know how resourceful you are but i mean you really only have so many of these and so on and so forth anyways like i said it's expensive um but they're beautiful and sometimes you just need to have a really pretty designed planner that week it really does boost your mood and makes you excited to like open your planner you know i don't know Maybe that's just me, <laughs> but um, you can go on Etsy. Two of my favorite um, companies on Etsy are Scribble Prints Co. and Glam Planner. So I recommend either of those shops if you guys want to go check it out. Both of them also have monthly subscriptions where the stickers are sent to you 
automatically. Like you sign up for the subscription, the money is deducted from your bank account every month, and then the stickers are automatically shipped to you so you don't have to think about buying them again. So that's something too. I just wanna throw that in there as an option. Don't be mad at me if you go there and fall in love and spend all your money. <laughs> It will happen. Okay, you're also going to need washi tape, especially if you're not using these. If you are, then it's all included. Everything you could need is included, so you don't really need it. But if you're using some of these kits, we're gonna be piecemealing it together, or even like these little books here, then you're gonna wanna grab some washi tape. So both of these came from, I believe, Michael's. This one I've seen time and time again, or a different version of it, where it has like a rainbow selection of colors. And they do go on sale for, I think, $20 for this entire thing. Um, these are obviously a little bit cheaper only because they have fewer like rolls in them. Um, but I like to have the colorful one because you never know if you're doing like a springtime plan or, or something for Valentine's Day. It's nice to have the options. But then I also really like to buy neutral colored ones because like for this week, I was trying to do like a New Year's thing. And so I wanted to go with like black and gold. So I used the gold washi tape here and then all the black accents from the somewhere in one of these sticker books. So I like to have a neutrally, a metallic, you know, something kind of basic as well um, when I'm doing something not so colorful. Um, okay, and then uh, lastly, you're gonna need a good pen. And I know this sounds silly and you might've just reached for like your regular average office pen, but I'm telling you like having a good pen is gonna make a huge difference. The writing is like, the best part. Well, it's also the easiest way to kind of like screw it up too. Um, so these two are similar. They're just like ballpoint, um, like regular pens. I want to say they came in one of those subscription boxes that I was getting. Um, the Stadler uh, Tripless Fine Liner is a favorite amongst the planner community, but it is felt tip. You can see that little felt tip doodad there. And then I also don't hate the Paper Mate Flare. You just have to test them because this is more of like a marker and you have to make sure that they don't bleed through your pages depending on um, the quality of the paper that you're using will determine kind of what pen you're gonna use too because you don't want it to bleed through. So I know that these don't bleed through on Erin Condren but the paper in a Happy Planner is a little bit thinner so I would proceed with caution. But there are a lot of people out there also who like gel pens. So yeah, grab yourself a pen that you love, love, love to write with and that'll help. So in addition to your planners themselves, you're gonna need some planner stickers. Pick your poison, how you wanna go about doing that. Get some washi tape and some pens that you love and we will meet back here maybe in a week or two and I will talk you through um, a plan with me and I'll tell you kind of my thought process of why I put the stickers where I put them and what goes in each planner and I'll talk to you a little bit more about just the process of glam planning. But that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.